Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be doing a full face of makeup using drugstore products. So if you're keen on seeing what I've used on my face today, then keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that we got to do is prep the skin. Now, two of my most wonderful primers that a drugstore is the NYX Glow Born 2. Uh, Born to Glow and this one here, it's an oldie but a goodie, the e.l.f. Glow Lotion. So what I'm going to be doing is mixing these two products together and I'm putting that as a primer over the face that just went on the floor. Okay, back to shaking it up and I'm just going to roughly put a bit of the e.l.f glow lotion over my face first then i'm going to be putting a little bit of the nyx glow lotion not too much of the nyx just about like that all right and mix the products in now if you were to mix this product in and compare it to a high-end luxury product, I would say that the closest that you could possibly get to this sort of type of primer is probably one by, I mean, any high-end product has their own primers, right? And they all have like different finishes. What comes to mind at the moment is Christian Dior, MAC, um you know chanel they all have these sort of primers that have like an illumination to them uh, even the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter basically is a high-end product and you're just basically duping that formula out with a drugstore brand now that's done we're going in with foundation now one of my all-time favorite drugstore foundations is the rimmel lasting finish 25 hour hydration boost I'm going to give that one a shake and I'm using a damp beauty sponge. Yes, it's stained. The puffs get stained. So I'm just getting a pump of the foundation, just one pump, smoothing that over the face. Now, normally, you know, you could do your eyes first and then go in with the base and all that last. Um, now, what I'm also going to do is get the concealer i'm using the essence multi this one's here is a multitask concealer erase cover and care and it's in a stick you just wind it up and you know a lot of high-end concealer products come in a stick form as well right so this is an excellent dupe for your high-end concealers yeah, make sure that comes out with with the concealer we're also going to use that as a um, eye primer. So not to fear. If you think I've gone too heavy with the makeup, it's totally fine because the damp beauty sponge is going to shear it all out. So let's go ahead and blend in the product. Now I do have some blemishes here and I am going to go ahead and separately conceal those up after I've done the base. If you're wondering what these dents are on the side of my nose, it's pretty obvious that I wear spectacles. And uh, before filming this video, I actually went and popped in my contact lenses because I'm pretty much can't see when I have my glasses on. And how can you really film a makeup tutorial wearing full on glasses? It's just kind of hard, it's difficult. And I'm all about making it easier for myself. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and blend in the concealer. I do miss so much a damp beauty sponge. You know, I alternate between fingers, brushes, then I go back to beauty sponges, then I go back to brushes, then I go back to fingers. It's all, it's all good, you know. But there is something about a damp beauty sponge that just works absolute flawless wonder. Wonders. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Now with the remaining product, just go ahead and dab the eyelids. And what that will do is erase your veins on your eyes. And you can color correct if you like with a green or red or peach color corrector if you need to. But 
for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not really going to be color correcting, but make sure you blend in well. Now I am gonna go ahead and color, not color correct, I am gonna go in and spot conceal just a little bit of the pimples there. I think that's the only pimple that I've got. I had one here, but it seems to have gone. So I'm just gonna let that, actually I'm gonna put a bit more, just gonna let that dry down a touch and don't let me forget to blend it out, please. I'm kidding. Okay, um, I'm gonna go in and set the concealer under my eyes with a little bit of the Halo Glow. Now this is the Halo Glow setting powder and I would say this is comparable, the Pat McGrath Blurring Under Eye Powder, sorry. And yeah, so this has got a little bit of a shimmer and it's in a translucent shade. I'm just getting a big fluffy brush and powder really gently under the eyes. Now, if you feel like you need to powder the rest of your face, go ahead and do so. Now, even if you want to use a cream product like liquid or in a balm or whatever, you can still powder beforehand. The liquid blush and the cream blush will still go on beautifully. It really is amazing how it sits on top of powdered skin. But people are a little bit too scared thinking it might peel up. But that hasn't really been my experience. So a little dusting. Um, might go ahead and put a little bit more of that powder and just set the eyelids as well. Why not? I'm in a powdering mood. Dab this in with my finger now. I love this concealer so much. Elf, I mean, Essence really does beautiful products. I mean, just wonderful. You can go ahead and set that with a bit of powder as well if you want. But I'm really happy with the way that concealed and covered up that, that pimple. All right, now it's time to do some eyelining. I'm gonna be starting off with this Mecha Max Brown Eyeliner Pencil. I would consider this a drugstore product. Mecha Max is a Australian New Zealand brand. And what I'm doing is I'm just lining the uh, under the eyes, under the lash line. And with my pinky finger, I'm just gonna really, really lightly blend that out to soften the harsh edges, because the warmth of your finger will melt the product right into your skin, just like that. It's gonna do the other eye. Now, it's really silly to say, maybe it's not that silly, but it's kind of silly to say like, you know, an eyeliner pencil compared to a high-end eyeliner pencil, like they're pretty much gonna be the same thing. You know, if I had to compare this to a high-end pencil, I'd say probably, you know, the Stiller eye pencils or even just a Chanel eye pencil. It's fun to do tutorials like this just because I know there's a lot of people out there that love drugstore makeup and you really just don't need to spend a lot. Um, and even if you've got a very strict budget, you can just use what you've got to achieve a high-end look. It really is all in the application, to be honest. The Don't Worry Be... Well, you know what? doesn't even say Don't Worry Be Happy, but this is the... Little Mini Eyeshadow Palette by Essence. Now just using a tapered fluffy blender brush, I'm gonna be dipping into this beautiful shade here called Positive. It's just like a taupey brown shade. Tapping that off and I'm just looking right into the mirror and I'm putting the brush pretty much right above where the crease would normally be and I'm window wipe motion to the tail end of the brow. Okay, I'm just looking into my own personal mirror here, which is in front of me. And I'm, I've simply just done that. I know it looks messy like that, but don't worry, it's all gonna come together. So all you wanna do is lay down that taupey brown shadow first. And like I said, look directly ahead of you in front of the mirror. And with the tip of that brush, window wipe motion, from the inner corner of the eyebrow to the outer end of the eyebrow. So pretty much it's just looking something like that. Now, just using a flat denser brush and I'm going in with this beautiful shade here called, I'm gonna be going with two different shades actually. This one here is like a silvery 
shade right and then I'm coating the other side with a pearly shimmery shade so that's what I'm doing okay now I'm making sure to go in with the silvery side first and I'm putting that on the middle half middle part of the lid isn't that beautiful and then turning the brush around and putting the lighter shade and joining it up with the silvery shade. So it looks something like that. Go ahead and do the other eye. So you can see just how that's looking now. The style of makeup that I'm, I've done at the moment here is really just, it's just the style that I'm going for. So I'm dipping into a deeper shade here. It's like a gray brown shade and I'm just pretty much using an angled brush and I'm gonna be doing a wing. I'm angling the brush towards the outer corner of the lower lash line and basically doing a wing to meet the eyeshadow that we did at the top. So that it's pretty much what it's looking like. And if you wanted to have a little bit more definition, you can go ahead and line the upper part of the lash to meet. Now, I'm happy with that. I could actually, if I wanted to go deep into the inner corner of the eye and do it all across, but I'm really happy about leaving it just, just like that. Now go ahead and clean up if you need to or make any amendments to the outer half of the eye. I think so far, so good. Now, there is a bit of fallout on the outer edge of my eye. I am just simply going to use my damn beauty sponge to press the flicks in. They pretty much vanish. Going in with eyebrows, I'm using this gorgeous product by Rimmel and it's called the Wonderful Brow. And this one here is in the shade number two medium and it's a gorgeous rimmel eyebrow product i'm just going and doing my eyebrows haven't forgotten to do mascara but i wanted to get this out of the way first whoops mascara time two products i'm going to be using the elf mascara bottom lashes and this product here is the lash it loud in brown and then on the top half of the lashes I'm going to be using the extra super lash mascara by Rimmel so what I will do is I'm going to actually pause the video I am going to do my lashes black up the top brown down the bottom and I'll be back to continue the rest of the video top and bottom lashes are done now if I had to compare these products to high end, the Rimmel one would be really, really comparable to the YSL mascara, the volume one, and also the, the brown mascara. I would say that it would be also uh, very, very, very similar to the Yves Saint Laurent Lash Clash mascara. We are moving on to bronzer and blush. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Essence Mosaic Compact Bronzer. It's a very, very light bronzer. Well, it's really similar to the Guerlain bronzers, which are also marbled. Big bronzer brush, powder, really light dusting. I am also going to bronze my nose this is also acting as our contour i think i need a bit more under the chin and take it down the rest of the neck sweep a bit of the bronzer over the forehead just to give a bit more glow now it's time for blush and one of my most favorite blushes is by flower beauty and this one here is the shade called flower pots well powder blush in peach primrose and with this one here it's one of these products where i do find it so so familiar 
or so similar to the Chanel blushes because you really do need to not dig your brush in so badly, but you do need to sort of dig the brush in a bit to get that color out. And I'm just popping that on the middle part of my cheek, working it up towards the upper cheekbone. Although I do find this is a lot more pigmented than the Chanel blush. And even the Dior blush. I do find the Dior blush is a little bit chalky. Now it's time to move on to lips. And I'm using the Lasting Finish by Rimmel Lip Liner Crayon. And this one here is in the shade Peach Me. It's a gorgeous peach shade. And I'm just going to outline the lips. And I'm overdrawing the lips as well. But I'm not overdrawing the bottom lip. Filling in the lips with the lip liner. Now that the lips are lined, I'm going in with this is a drugstore product and it's called BTY NAKD by Matte Lipstick. And I honestly don't know where I got it from, but it was like a really cheap lipstick that I picked up off some website and it's called Smoky Rose. This is the, it's a vegan lipstick, uh, but the shade is called Smoky Rose and this is the actual packaging. I don't know if you guys have actually heard of this brand, BTY Naked. It's uh yeah, gorgeous color, Smoky Rose. I'm just gonna fill in the lips with that color. I'm going to be leaving my lips matte. I'm not going to be going in with a gloss. And here is the completed look. All using drugstore makeup. I wonder if I can zoom this in while I'm recording. Probably not. So I'm just going to bring my camera in so you can see closer. Now I did deliberately do the upper eyelash with a little bit more of the shadow skin now we didn't use any highlighter so you can go ahead and use you can go ahead and use a eyeliner if you want but that's pretty much it guys all these products are drugstore and you don't actually need any high-end makeup to achieve a high-end look like this one so and i think i'm eating my hair so guys that is the end of the tutorial please leave me your comments in the comments section below what you're currently loving in drugstore makeup even please tell me what you love in high-end makeup i'm so keen to know and i love to hear about it if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel share the video and i will see you all again in my next video bye for now